Good evening, everyone. Um, oh, you're cheery, aren't you? Um, so I'm Michelle, I am 32, and I am the only single one out of all my friends, and I've also not got any children. And now, now, I don't fit into society where I should fit in as a 32-year-old female, but if I've learned anything from all of my friends that have children, there's only two things that parents want in life. Have we got any parents in? Hey! Okay, so the first thing that you want is a full night's sleep. Yeah? yeah? And the second one is to be able to take a piss in peace without a tiny human coming in to peck your fucking head. Am I right? <laughs> exactly. So um, I get to do both of those things. I don't mean to brag, but sorry. Um, now, all of my mates' kids are dead cute. Um, I loved it when they were born. Get to go around, give them little snuggles, give them back when they've had a shit. But they've grown up now, and to be quite honest with you, well... They're just a bunch of fucking knobheads. <laughs> now, don't make out any of you parents that you've never looked at your child and thought, you're a knobhead. <laughs> that doesn't make you a bad parent doing that. What makes you a bad parent is taking them on holiday and going for tapas without them. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. Now, we went to the skate park the other week with all of the kids. And as we were leaving one area, my mate's kid comes over and he's five. And he throws a scooter across the floor and he's like, oh my God, I'm so tired. I'm like, me, what are you doing? I'm so tired, I can't take that scooter down there. Now what it felt like saying to the little dickhead was it's got wheels that is easily draggable to the other area, but because he's five, it's inappropriate, so I left it. So off he runs, I've been mugged off, carrying a scooter because you know that you can't, you've got to drag it. You can't pick a scooter up because it cuts into your ankles, doesn't it? Yeah, she's like, yeah, I've been there, I've done that. So there I am dragging it down. Now it gets to the railings and there he is fuming that all of his mates are playing and he feels left out. He's clinging onto the railings, looking at me like I've sent him to Neverland for the weekends on all fours. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we didn't do that. Michael's dead, we can't. <laughs> Now, I had the whole conversation vibe with myself when he looks at me and says, give me my scooter. I wasn't gonna kick off at his attitude because normally he just does a dinosaur roar, which is something I'm not fluent in because Finding Nemo only taught me how to talk in whale. <laughs> so I didn't boot off because I could understand that he was speaking in English. And I was like, it's all right, mate. You're welcome. You don't need to thank me for bringing that down. And then there's these three parents judging me, looking at my non-parental skills. Now, I will point out as well the fact that it was in Runcorn, so between the three of them, I have 42 fucking fingers pointing at me. <laughs> not a fucking day. For the guy who's from Mexico, if you're not familiar with Runcorn, it's maybe on par with Alabama, America. We'll go with that. So, yeah, I haven't got any children, and um, I'm looking forward to the day that I do, because we'll see how I deal with that and get judged by other people when I'm actually a parent. Now, one thing that we will all have in common is a bucket list. Can we shout out if we've got a bucket list? Yeah. Yes. Now, bucket lists tend to include things such as your exotic holidays, seeing the wonders of the world, maybe even a bungee jump for those that like a little bit of scare tactics. There's one thing that's on my bucket list that I cannot plan for, but I really want to do it, and everyone thinks it's fucking weird. Hear me out. I want to be on a plane crash. <laughs> I know. Not a bad one, though, where to die, because I can't be arsed dying yet. Like, I feel like I'm a little bit too young for that. And unless maybe the destination's Benidorm, I don't mind the plane going down there, because it's a shithole. But I want to be on a plane crash. Now, I don't know if you read, a few weeks ago, there was a news article to say that there was a plane simulator in Nottingham. Has anyone heard of it? No? Okay, maybe you might want to come with me. <laughs> Eight fucking pound for a simulator to simulate a plane crash. And I was like, oh my God, this is cheaper than ghetto golf. Like the girls are gonna love this. We'll have a road trip. They'll have time away from the kids. And the response that I got was, oh, babe, you're so fucking weird. Why would you want to do that? You're not right in the head. I'm not going with you. One of my best mates is a pilot. She is a captain for an airline. And I was like, she's gonna be game. And she said, no, because it goes against the training. Like, babe, I'm not asking you to fly the fucking thing. I just want you to come on a plane crash with me because it's eight pounds and it's not like you can't afford it. So any takers on that one? Anyone want to come with me? I think it'll be dead fun. There's no one game for this. Fucking maybe I am weird, but I'm not arsed and I don't care. 
Oh, God. Um, so, the next thing I'm going to talk about is my weight, because, to be quite honest, there's quite a lot of people that like to point out about my weight. People that I don't even know. The one that fucks me off the most, though, is the people that I do work with, and they go, oh, my God, you're so skinny today. Well, babe, I saw you yesterday, and I had a shit this morning, but I definitely didn't lose three stone from that. So I don't understand how I look any different. But I do get people that come over. One time I was in Primark, and I was buying a dress. Obviously, I was picking up the 12 and the 14, because everyone knows that the people that work in them sweatshops are shit at the job, and they haven't got a clue about sizing. <laughs> but that's okay, they're in a job, so it's fine, we'll allow it. So I'm picking up my 12 and my 14, I'm like, oh, which one am I gonna fit into? And this woman next to me, she was maybe of a rounder size, and she goes, oh my God, you're so skinny. I could never pull that off. Now, I know there was a compliment in there somewhere, but I'm not too sure where. And I felt a little bit offended, and I thought, I'll let that slide, I'll walk away. Now, I was shopping to go to a festival, and so I ended up going to go outdoors for all like camping stuff. And I get in there, and I'm looking at tents and that, and next to me, was the woman that spoke to me in Primark. So, I just turned around to her and I went, oh my God, you're so fucking fat. I'd <laughs> never pull that off. <laughs> and, um, well, to be fair, I don't think she was, um, she, well, she went home to comfort eat, I reckon, because I had a place in her order on the way home. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's it. I'm Michelle, thank you for your time. Thank you. <laughs>